welcome to another video. This morning I'm doing a bit of woodland photography in my local forest where today we've got some foggy conditions, it's been raining overnight and there's uh, low cloud and where I am is high up, really high up on a hill. The huge forest it goes on for miles in every direction so got lots to explore, lots of different types got some pine sections some silver birch sections some valleys where there should be some more fog down in the valley all sorts of different trees we've got going on here at the moment the ferns are turning from green to a lovely copper sort of color and uh, the first first shot I've only just got out of the car there and the first shot I've seen walking down this path is these three silver birch trees in the background together with the ferns around the bottom and the fog in the background so nice little shot first one and uh, we'll continue on now and go and see what else we can find let's go So on the edge of this pine section of woods where you've got the path that cuts through here and the trees on the other side, there's one very thin silver birch just here in a little clearing on its own, which is very thin and delicate and leaning over into the foggy footpath. Caught my eye. Um, I've taken shot of that one in landscape and one in portrait orientation where I've just got this section here um, and it's I've overexposed it so you've got the white it's quite white behind it with the fog and I think it makes a nice little um, composition nice nice image so I've taken a shot of that and now I'm gonna continue on down that path and see what else I can find. It's a new area of woodland to me this bit so we're just gonna have to go and see what we can find. Let's go. interesting go and have a little look around here so it's just a nice scene. There's not really a specific subject here. It just all looks nice. So I've taken two shots, one landscape, one portrait. Uh, let me just show you what I've got here. This is in portrait. You can see that. All right. Got this line of 
trees that go off and these ferns with the two different colours and some of the bark's wet which is nice and then you've got this different tree in the back there's a little row and oak there uh, what's it called uh, mountain ash and uh, I think it's a hazel tree in the back but it's nice with the fog I think it makes quite a nice shot so I've got the polarizer on I've got the 24 to 200 which is just perfect for this because I can go in and out to any focal length I want to pick out any shot that I want perfect lens for woodland photography f8 1.6 seconds ISO 64 and um, yeah I think it's quite nice here's the image now Old blueberries here. Nice. Oh, look at this. Nice little clearing. There's got to be a shot here, surely. wander around see if I can make something so this is quite a nice little scene behind me what I've got here is these three trees here that I'm focusing on and it's cut across the top of the scene now and I've got those three trees over there with those leaves just coming into the shot and the foggy background. A little bit of foreground down here and all the ferns. And uh, I think it looks quite nice. I'll show you on the back of the camera. There we go, if you can see that, that's that's the scene that's at 1.6 seconds f6.3 and uh, ISO 64 50 mil full frame nice nice little shot that I quite like that um, here's the image Now I'll just have a little look around this little area because it's quite nice and see if I can find anything else. I mean everything looks good. Every direction I look in, that looks nice. It's a path that cuts down with that tree with those leaves that were creeping into the right hand side of the last image. Nice ferns. Perfect atmosphere. Yep. I think I'm going to take a shot of that. And again, let me flip you around. So there's that shot without the sky. And uh, even this path that drifts through here, look. You can't pick it up on this because of the focal length, but. In there might be a nice shot. Oh, everything, it looks great. Right, I'm gonna get the camera out and set something up.
So I'm going to try and explain to you uh, a, a sort of style that I've done quite a few images of that I really like. It's the, the only way I can describe it really is um, a canvas of colour with lots of interest with no specific subject. If I can turn this on and show you this you might see what I mean. I've put it into 16 by 9 aspect ratio to cut out the top and what I like to do I've got quite a few images and I really love them every time I look at them I um, I just love that style of image from edge to edge you've got similar colors and all these different textures it only really works in woodland uh, and it just fills the whole canvas um, I've, I've seen this as I'm coming down there and thought that's another one of those particular types of shots that I do I've got a few I've got a few on my website uh, www.ianmarshall.com but I'll post I'll post them up on here now as well along with this one And hopefully you can see what I mean when I say like a just a pure canvas of colors and texture not a specific subject as such but it makes just a beautiful image I think anyway uh, let me know what you think if you like that style and those few images that I've just posted up there I'm gonna uh, head on now see what else I can find just stopped here on this track down to a different section of woods you can probably hear the dual carriageway in the background it's uh, Saturday morning probably 10 o'clock now everybody's out and about so excuse the noise but this scene in front of me is just a really nice woodland scene there's a very overgrown track that goes through the middle full of grasses the ferns of the different colors here a few trees and then some space around the pine trees in the background there I think it's quite nice I've got it in a 16 by 9 so there's no sky you're just looking at this scene here basically uh, so might be able to show you on the back of the camera you can see that it looks lovely on the back of the camera just a nice scene if I walked past an image on a wall of that I would definitely stop and look at it and connect with it and wish that I was there so I am so I'm gonna go and enjoy it Here's the image. Just thought I'd stop and show you this quickly. This here is the original road that cut through this forest many, many years ago that a highwayman used to rob rich people in their horse and carts and take all of their jewellery and stuff and go and hide it in what is now a derelict chapel hidden in some woodland somewhere uh, now this has got the new bypass that cuts right the way through the middle of it this is no longer used but somebody used to have fun in this forest back in the day robbing people let's go and see what else we can find
wanted. Someone's been clearing down my favourite part of this forest. Back to the car now. Uh, I took another shot. I didn't bother filming it because I'm done with all the cars driving past and getting soaked. Uh, so I just took a quick shot, made my way back to the car. I hope you've um, enjoyed the video and the woodland forest that I'm in. It's that time of season now where it's, um, it's starting to rain. Excuse me. It's starting to rain a lot uh, and it's always foggy in this forest in, at this time of year because it's so high up that you, you're basically in the cloud. So it's either cloud or, or fog from the rain. So I should think my next few images are going to be woodland as the autumn leaves come in more and the ferns die off and we have all this atmosphere in the forest so if you've enjoyed the video and you like some woodland photography then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing because the next few videos will be probably in this forest so thanks for watching till next time cheers